Redistricting is the rearranging of borders in Massachusetts to equally, to equally give seats to Congress for the electoral votes in each election. This census occurs every 10 years. The census gives us an opportunity to be part of the democratic process. Census numbers ensure that our rep representative district for the U.S. Congress and for state legislatures in, in and around our city and town government reflect our numbers all around us. Currently, Massachusetts has 10 congressional districts. Because of the census, they are changing the districts to only nine. Changing the districts will have far-reaching implications for elections over the next decade. There are two possible ways the districts could be changed. Plan A. Plan B. The process is called reapportionment. It works this way. Each state is assigned one seat. Then the apportionment formula allocates the remaining 385 congressional seats one at a time. I'm one of 50 states until all 435 seats are assigned. The largest state, California, population of over 37 million, gets 53 U.S. representatives. The smallest, Wyoming, of half population of half a million, has one single representative. Who draws the district lines? State legislators have primary, have primary responsibility for drawing district lines in most states. To reduce the possibility of political pressure or interference, many states name bipartisan um, commissions to do the redistricting. Gerrymandering is the manipulation of district boundaries to give an advantage to one particular group, often in an attempt to keep incumbent elected officials in power. The name originated in the early 19th century when Massachusetts Governor Elbridge Gerry signed a law creating a district that benefited his party. It was shaped like a salamander, hence gerrymandering.